Hello student. Today we are going to discuss May June 2020 2-1 paper, variant 1 paper, database part. Database belongs to the second part of the question paper. So this is your database task tree. So first what we need to do, first we need to make our evidence document from the data file. So evidence here, this one is evidence. First, what you have to do, you need to give header. Inside the header, you need to mention your name, center number, candidate number. Suppose I'm giving my name, center number. This is the center number for our call section. And some random candidate number. Double click inside. Save it as a word. Save as. Uh, suppose evidence one two three it should be what document safe in the same folder <clears throat> next of the question paper what they are asking you are going to prepare some report uh, dates are to be imported in the format of day month year okay so first you have to check your system date whether it is day month year or not okay now using suitable database package input the file j2120 res.csv so first you need to open microsoft access we are going to use access 2010 then uh, let me mention the location of the file where we are going to save the database we are going to save the database into one inside my desktop so suppose database name i am giving my database name why we are mentioning the address so if some uh, sometime what happened electricity can goes off then you can uh, recall your database easily as you know your database location now after that click create when you click create you will see table 1 is created so this table is not needed close this one external data for importing the file text file according to the question paper which one raise.csv so browse go to desktop 2 1 it will be raise.csv this one <coughs> then press ok delimited it is correct next first row content field name next now select advanced for changing the data types first one two three four five is text then date and time then number integer number integer three four five is text date and time then this one number integer you can mention integer Labs also integer you can mention because they mention number integer rest time date and time yes data rest time if you if, if you see one thing here mentioned different format hour minute second so you have to uh, define this one in design view so date and time correct then event text number integer number integer boolean logic this is text so it can be number integer this can be integer you can keep long integer also that is also correct linker it should be boolean logical yes no press ok click next choose my own primary key according to the question paper set entry id is a primary key so you need to mention entry id is a primary key that next and then finish close open this one into design view you need to change the uh, data type format so first one HN integer this one date and time hour minute second and yes no you have to change last date and time this time it should be format should be hour minute second so we'll mention long time okay and again yes no it should be format should be yes no okay now control s control w now next question what they are asking evidence 6 place in your evidence document screenshot showing the primary key field name and data types used in the table so you have to open this table in the design view so better to keep your cursor pointer in that place where you did maximum changes like the rest time and then take the screenshot print screen or snipping tool you can use this is according to the question paper evidence 5 so evidence 5 under evidence 5 you can put your screenshot select this figure format crop option crop this part
make it big like this done next part of the question what they are asking input the file j2120 category dot csv as a new table in your database set cat code as a primary key create one to many relationship between cat code in the category table and cat code in the rest table okay now first you need to input categories table so control s control w7 exit external data text file browse um, which should be in the desktop categories okay delimited okay next first row content field name next uh, they didn't ask to change data type so next to my own primary key so what will be the primary key uh, they ask for cat code as a primary key so you need to mention cat code here click next then finish close okay now what they're asking to do it's time to create relationship one to many relationship between cat code uh, in the categories table and cat code in the rest table so you have to make a relationship click database tools relationship select both the table add close so this cat code drag it put it over here first check enforce referential integrity or working or not yes it is working now what you have to do after that you have to take the evidence documents by relationship so be, uh, before taking the evidence I bring the previous screen edit relationship keep the screen like this way and take the screenshot of that one and press it in your evidence document 6 evidence 6 select the figure format crop it crop this part like this way now you can keep your picture a little bit big so it should be visible properly that relationship done properly even one too many okay next part what they are asking enter the following detail as a new document in the rest table so okay control is control w open rest table w if you want to enter new data so click this arrow new blank record and one space will be created in this space you have to type your information according to the question paper just make sure when you are inputting the data data should be according to the question paper like if something given in capital letter that one you have to give in capital letter not a small letter otherwise examiner can cut your mark this is the timing our minute second and then 590 this one will be 5 this one will be 90 next one will be 1162 <coughs> then it should be yes now save it control s control w done next part check your data entry for error so we checked everything is okay using full from both the table produce a table or report okay they are asking to create a report before creating report you know that you have to make a query and from which line you have to start your query where it is written show only the fields okay so let me make a query create query wizard simple query wizard what are the field you need to take first name last name gender club license first name last name gender gender is belongs to maybe another table gender then club license club is belongs to other table club uh, license points and ability points is belongs to 
progress through points and ability. This is points. Ability belongs to another table. Ability. Done. Any other fields? No. In this order with the data levels displayed in full, do not group the data. Okay, they did not ask to make any group. Click next, next and finish. Now these are the six, seven fields. Now you have to open this one into design view for writing the criteria. So ability is elite or expert. So you have to write down ability. Under ability, it should be elite or expert. Now after writing one criteria, it is the best idea to run and check whether your uh, criteria is working or not. Now just click run. Yes, ability, elite or expert. Both are coming. Now again, second criteria, what they're asking, gender is female and license is, yes, gender should be female. Now check, run, run, gender is female, all females is working and license is, yes, just here to type yes. Run, how many data is coming? Now check, total. 31 records okay so after that what you have to do you have to do the sorting here so what is the advantage of doing sorting in the query you can do sorting in the report also but um, if you do in the query then all the field will come in this order in serial in this serial number right first name will come first then last name then gender then class so sort the data in ascending order of points uh, sort the data into descending order of points so points should be descending descending order of points and then as a page orientation portrait so our uh, query part is over control s control w now first you have to make a first keep your cursor pointer over the query then create the report create report wizard okay through the query you need to make the report transfer all the field right side click next it should be all filled together no grouping next next here they will ask you for sorting no need to do any sort from here we did already next and it should be ported or landscape you have to check it should be ported okay single page white ported and fit on a single page white so fit on a single page white that means this one you should tick here it is automatically ticked ported click next and then finish now see all the fill came but all the fill is not visible properly so in that case you need to open this one into layout view and increase or decrease some fill size because all the field name and value should be visible okay done now what you have to do after that include only the text top ability females as a title at the top of the page so you have to open this one into design view it should be here the title should be here done top ability okay page has your name center number category number on the report so they ask you on the report so always try to give in page footer so what is the advantage you will get from the page footer so delete these two box which is not needed uh, if you do in the page footer then uh, if your page is uh, report is belongs to two page then your name will come in every page but if you give in the uh, page uh, report footer then only it will come in the last page okay so that is that will be a problem for you because if your report is belongs to two page that time if your name is not coming that time your report will be cancelled control s control w. now check the report properly so everything is clearly visible done save and print the report now you can print it now question number 24 <coughs> what they are asking using field from both the table so here say both the table not query table produce a tabular report Mm, select the report where club include the text includes the text bike uh, agent is 40 or more event rank is not include dnf so containing new field called left time which is calculated runtime display as integer this field is calculate the average time 
overlap multiply the rest time by 1440 and divided uh, by the number of laps okay now first what you have to do first you have to make a query because they ask for make a report in this case you will start query from here so control s control w and please make sure that you are not taking any field from the previous query you have to take uh, all the fields from the main two table so create report wizard simple report wizard now check what are the field they are asking for last name first name gender so it should be last name first name and then gender gender it belongs to category table oh let's check one more time okay create a report wizard simple report wizard so it should be last name yes last name first name gender gender belongs to category gender then next agent category club so agent uh, category club okay first restable agent then category then club another table agent category club event rank license it should be event rank license it should be event rank license race time and lap time race time and laps time lap time means lap okay it will be laps okay did they ask for any field no they did not ask for in this order in the database okay no grouping next next finish so open this one into design view you need to write you need to create we need to create one new field name okay now what will be the field name let me check lab time so field name will be lab time right let me write lab time then you have to give clone sign two dot then what they are asking multiply the rest time by one for um okay this field will calculate the average time per lap okay multiply the rest time by one four four zero and divided by the number of laps okay so rest time first you have to write down under square bracket rest time race the spelling and format should be according to the field name here rest time is given race underscore time okay race time close the square bracket multiply by one four four zero as they mentioned it should be divided by 1440 divided by number of laps so you have to give whole thing under bracket you can use first bracket now then divided by laps square bracket l a p s close the square bracket now for checking whether the data is coming or not just run one time yes data is coming now what they are asking in the question paper and divided by number format this field so display as an integer format okay so it should be integer format so right click over this one first you have to run one time okay then properties format it should be uh, format it should be standard there is no need to give any decimal point let's check how it look like after that standard uh, so it is coming in decimal format so what you will do again right click and design view you will give this one right click properties the standard and decimal point should be zero then you will see without decimal point value is coming right okay now next one you have to write down the criteria so club include the bike and uh, include the text bike so under under club as they mentioned include double star bike double star okay now run it it will show you club all club belongs to bike okay design view next one hn is 40 or more 
age n is greater than 40 or more so where is my age n you can see the field name age n greater than equal to 40 second criteria done and event rank does not include dnf event rank not dnf now run it it will show you 41 records okay now I th uh, our query is over now what you have to do you have to do the sorting as everything should be under order sort the data ascending order of gender then descending order of agent ascending order of gender it should be ascending and descending of, of uh, descending order of agent descending according to question paper Ascending order of gender, descending order of age n. Has a page orientation landscape. Okay, now your query is over. Control S, Control W. Now this query one is the new query. So keep your cursor pointer over query one. This is the second query. Now create report wizard. You will seek to select this one. Transfer all the field right side. Click next, next, next. No sorting is needed. Just it should be landscape, next, and then finish. Now all the data is visible. Now what you have to do, you have to um, all the data is visible, but not in proper way. So you have to open this one into layout view. Make some field name small, some field name bigger. So all the data and field name is visible properly. Should visible properly. license this time labs then make it bigger labs time now control s save it and then has a page on and this one is done fit on a single page is done include the text by club veteran it will be as a title so open this one into this design view so keep your cursor pointer here write down this title okay next one title top of the page format this in, in, a, in a black 28 points serif form okay so you need to edit this one so you have to make it a little bit bigger so what you have to do you have to make it as a black so it should be font should be black then 28 point it should be 28 and it should be serif font that means you can mention times new roman with extra line done now you can make this box Double box small make it up okay after that what they're asking all text will be visible calculate the average age and display as integer below the age and column so open this one into layout view for finding out the average average age you just select the value of average and age and and then they're asking to find out average now check you will get some average 52.07 so open this one into which view it should be properties and format as they are asking for integer so make it standard and uh, decimal place uh, should be zero 
now it will show you 52 done has a level average age of, uh, what is that any anything is left no uh, average age of veterans of the left of this well okay so we have to write open this one in design view make it a little bit big draw a level box before this formula and write down your things and click outside make it smaller little bit now check how it look like in layout view So the 52 should be under this number so what you have to do so open this one into design view again and this one should be a little bit smaller and just report view it should be oh it is more left side so you can make it a little bit right side also design view just make it big no view report view yes it is okay next one what they're asking include your name center number and candidate number in the footer of the report so it appear on every page okay so what you have to do open this one into design view delete this two box for appearing every page you have to write in the page footer like the take the level box put the level box here write down your name comma center number comma candidate number done you can make it a little bit smaller okay now you can see final report in report view it will be look like this perfect now what is the next question you can print it out evidence place in your evidence, evidence 7 place in your evidence document the screenshot showing the database formula used to calculate the average age okay so you have to show the formula in the evidence 7 design view so this formula you need to make this one little bit big for taking the screenshot so full formula should be visible after that you can make it small print screen or sipping tool go to your evidence under evidence 7 you put the screenshot select this one full thing is not needed crop the thing which one you need just select this one after that crop this part make it bigger Okay, done. Next one. Export the report created in step 24. Ported document format PDF. Send, uh, save the exported file into work area. So control S, control D. Under the. So this is your rep uh, this is your report. So you need to export into PDF format, right? So what they are asking, export the report in step 24, portable document format, save this exported file in your work area, evidence place in your evidence document, screenshot show the exported file saved in your work area. So what you will do, right click over this one, then export into PDF, then where you need to save, yeah. So, did the ask any name? You can give any name according to the report and then click publish. Close. Now you can see that PDF file is saved in your. This is your report. Okay. Your name is coming in every page. Right? So now what you have to do, you need to take the screenshot that it saved in your work area, Microsoft Edge PDF. So select this one, print screen button, go to your evidence document, evidence 8, ok, 
okay now select this one format crop it crop this part and make it big bigger so it should be visible properly done so this is a uh, full part of database of may june 2020 to one if you have any question you can ask me in the class thank you for watching